car when you're supposed to Cause it keeps me on my toes It kinda makes me want you more I get a kick from going out when you don't want me to Knowing you're at home on the bed I know I shouldn't feel like that I would say we were good together I would say we had fun But our trails would never run forever Something else is on your mind Like everything that's good in life always comes Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to Maxie's Kitchen. My name is Max Lynn. If this is your first time joining us here, I'm super glad to have you over. You're welcome to the family. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, you're very much welcome. I'm so glad to have you back. If you're a viewer who hasn't subscribed yet though, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's so important to me. So yeah. So today, I'm going to show you what I eat in a day but Ghanaian version. So I'm making like Ghanaian dishes. Okay, so I'm having cocoa, Habuza cocoa, and Kose for breakfast. So Kose in Nigeria is known as Akara. So I'll be making some Akara or some Kose, and I'm going to have that with instant Habuza cocoa. Um, and then for lunch, I'm going to have stir fry noodles. So like uh, roadside Indomie. The stir fried one, that's what I'm going to have for lunch. And then I am going to have chicken stew and rice for dinner. So that's what this video is about. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, also guys, I want to thank you for 1K. I'm super grateful to each and every single one of you that spoke to someone about Maxi's Kitchen, that told someone about Maxi's Kitchen, that commented, liked, um, you know, used some of my recipes or shared the recipes. I'm so grateful for all of you guys okay i love all of you guys you guys know how much i love you oh my gosh guys i'm lost for words okay but i love you so much all of you guys that comment all the time i see you i see you nadine i see you michael steven um marian she's always leaving hearts for me in the comment section i love you so much you know I know I've not mentioned everyone, Megan, my sister, she's always commenting, Magdalene, always commenting. Um, if I miss your name, I'm so sorry, but I really appreciate you guys. Just know that I really appreciate you. You guys show me so much love. Belina, she's always commenting, always sending me a message on Instagram to tell me how much she loves Maxi's Kitchen. And Aram, Aram. So, Aram... I love her so much because she was actively trying to get me subscribers at some point like she would text me on Instagram and tell me that um, you know I'm telling my co-workers to subscribe like I'm making sure we get like about 10 subscribers today because she just didn't understand why we hadn't hit 1k yet I'm super grateful to you for that you have absolutely no idea how grateful I am I'm super grateful for you and I'm so proud to have people that actually love me and love the content that I put out on this page it's only up from here I love all of you guys so yeah so now let's get into the video oh talking about reaching 1k so I got back from work yesterday and I saw a box of flowers beside my bed and Magdalene got me flowers for hitting 1k so I'm just going to show you and then I'm going to arrange it later today maybe before I start making breakfast so the thing is that it is 9.58 right now. I already soaked the beans for the kose at 9 a.m. Um, by 10 it should be okay. I'm trying to soak it for an hour but I'm going to bath before I make my breakfast okay. Um, I won't show you my flowers though because I'll probably arrange them in the vase before I make my breakfast. So yeah. Oh my goodness guys they are so beautiful. So I have a variety of roses. I have red, I have white roses, pink and orange. So it also came with like a flower care card. Guys, 
guys, this bouquet is the prettiest thing ever. And the fact that I know that it's going to bloom, I'm so excited. Like, I'm going to arrange the flowers now. <laughs> One last time for the roses because they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay guys, let's make my cozy for my breakfast. So don't forget to take a screenshot of the ingredients on the next page. Now to start with, you want to um, blend your soaked beans. So I soaked the beans for about an hour and 30 minutes. Two hours maximum. You don't want to do it overnight because you would lose a lot of the nutrients if you do that. Okay, so I'm putting my soaked beans into a blender. I'm going to add enough water and then I'm going to pulse it to get rid of the bean skin. Okay, the skin of the beans. We don't want that. Now, my blender isn't that good, so I had a hard time doing this and it actually broke the beans down a bit. Um, but that was okay because I was going to blend the beans anyways but make sure you're using a really good blender after pulsing you want to transfer it into a bowl and you want to wrap the beans between your hands um, like you're washing something okay and then separate the skin of the beans from the beans itself so this is what the skin should look like and the beans should be pure white it should have no black spots in it so this is what I got and this is what we're going to use to make the kose or akara so you're going to put that back into your blender cup and you're going to add the onions scotch bonnet peppers and bell peppers or this kind of red pepper that I used okay so to this you're going to add a little bit of water you're not going to add too much or else it's going to be so thin and when you fry it it's just going to create a mess in the oil okay why not make it moi moi or anything like that we're making akara or kose so just a teeny tiny bit of water and you want to blend that until it's well blended So this is the kind of consistency you want. You don't want anything thinner than this, okay? This is perfect. So to this, we're going to add in salt to taste and shrimp powder. Now, if you don't have shrimp powder or don't use shrimp powder, just use stock cube. Or just don't use one whole stock cube because that's going to be too much. Use about a quarter to half of a stock cube. 
so you're going to mix that in carefully and then after that you're going to incorporate some air into the akara or kose butter now akara or kose needs to be light and airy so if you don't incorporate the air into this butter it's going to sink when you start to fry it and you don't want that so i'm using my hand mixer to beat this butter to incorporate some air into it but if you don't have a hand mixer you can use a stand mixer if you don't have a stand mixer you would have to use your arm to you know beat um some air into the into the butter so you can either use a whisk or you can use a spatula so once that's done you should have something like this and then it's ready to fry you just heat up some oil once it's heated you use a spoon to scoop the butter into the oil and then fry hear a voice calling you it's the rising sun the kose is floating at the top if you don't beat it so much if you don't incorporate so much air into the butter you're not going to get this it's going to sink and it's going to soak up so much oil and you don't want that So happy I made them they were so delicious and so flavorful this is your sign to make your own kose at home or to make your own akara at home I know that making cocoa is a bit of a task I wouldn't even want to go through that so you can buy your cocoa but then make your kose or akara at home so I was done frying them and I set them aside and made my cocoa my instant cocoa so cocoa is some type of millet porridge that we usually have in Ghana for breakfast and because I can't make it from scratch, like I said earlier on, I'm just making instant cocoa. So I got this from my mom. I've been brought it to me when she was coming back to school. Um, and I'm just going to follow the instructions on the packets and then make myself and my sister some cocoa for breakfast. I can stare at you for a hundred years and I never blink and I you were beautiful, just like a flower I could walk with you for a million miles And my feet would not get tired Where you go, I'll go, winter or summer I was so shocked at how simple of a task this was and um, to be honest I prefer the cocoa that they sell on the roadside if I'm in Ghana I would get that but if I'm here this is definitely a good alternative or like a good substitute so I just added some sugar and some peanuts and some milk as well some evaporated milk now this is very much optional and the peanuts as well the sugar is just to sweeten it but yeah, this was breakfast. It tasted so good. I was happy I made this. I just felt like I was in Ghana because um, I actually hadn't had this in a while. I really enjoyed it. Magdalene did as well. I don't care the seasons change. Cause darling, I'll stay, I'll stay, I'll stay right here with you. I 
this is so good and the cocoa as well um the kose is so spicy and i love it that way because i used two habaneros but this is breakfast guys just text i know it's a toss oh but i hate the fact that we lost such a hello guys so i just finished with the meeting actually it wasn't a meeting it was like a so my foundation manager does this thing where all of his students okay students all of his students um, meet every other friday so we met this friday for 30 minutes and we just play games okay so it's like a tutor and his students that's what it's like so me and other placement students that are under him so we played a game and my team won we were in pairs i won with the guy that i was paired with um anyways i was just thinking like my foundation manager said in the meeting that um those of us that have been used up our how do you call it holidays we need to use it like he's been encouraging us to use it i think a lot of people have actually used theirs but i haven't used mine that much i have more than 15 days so I was just thinking, I think I'm going to take Monday and Tuesday off just so that I can have a nice long weekend and I'll have like 13 working days left. That's not bad at all. So I'm about to do that for making stir fry indomie for lunch. It's going to be really easy, really quick and super flavorful. Okay, I hope the video is coming together nicely to be honest. I, normally when I record, I can tell how it's going to come together but I'm not sure about this one. Um, I hope it comes out well actually after I book the holidays like Monday and Tuesday off after I take those days off and tell everyone that I work directly with that I wouldn't be in on Tuesday and Monday I would also create my thumbnail for today's vlog I haven't done that yet but I've uploaded it so I'm going to create the thumbnail and then put that on YouTube and, and then we'll go and make lunch so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I am. Today is very chill. There's not too much to do. And yeah. Tell me if I got it wrong, but you don't want to be alone. Spend the evening by yourself, but you'll miss me when it's getting late. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let me. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let go. So for lunch, I'm making my version of street style stir fry indomie. Don't forget to take a screenshot of all the ingredients on this page. Let's get started. So I've already prepped my vegetables. I cut my cabbage, my onions, my bell peppers, my spring onions and my sausages. Okay, so you're going to put a small pot over fire or over the hob on medium to high heat let the water boil and then you're going to add in your pack of indomie and all the seasonings that come with the indomie pack okay and then you're going to give that a good mix and cook for only about three to four minutes you don't want it to become soft it has to be a bit hard um before you stir fry it so al dente actually so 
um, once it's done you want to take the water out of the indomie and set that aside and then in your wok you're going to add a little bit of oil and then you're going to crack your eggs in once the wok starts to smoke up that's when you know it's ready to go um, and then you're going to season your eggs with salt and black pepper if you don't have black pepper just salt is fine and you're going to add in your sausages and then mix everything together okay so you're going to fry that for a good three to four minutes okay but not on high heat on medium heat So if you were wondering how I cut my vegetables, this is how I cut them. So I'm adding in the onions. I didn't add all of it actually, I added about three quarters of it. I added in all of my cabbage, all of my bell peppers and then the white part of my spring onions. So all that I have left in the bowl is a bit of onions and the green part of the spring onions. We'll add that at the end. So you're going to add all the vegetables that I've mentioned in and you're going to stir fry very well for about two minutes and then you're going to add a bit of the sardine oil to the wok and then just one sardine. We're only going to be using one sardine for this recipe okay. Now you do not want to skip this part I'm telling you it adds so much flavor to this dish. So you're going to just use the spatula to mash or smash the sardine and then mix it in very well and then you're going to add in your chili powder now I didn't give measurements for this because you can add as much as you like or as little as you want it depends on your um, heat tolerance okay so once you've mixed that in you're going to add the noodles in and then just stir fry everything together if it gets a bit dry just add in a bit of the sardine oil and that will help to loosen things up and that's basically all you have to do for this recipe Still getting nowhere, yeah. If winter blows here, baby. So once you're done at the end you just want to add in um, the rest of the onions that we saved and the green parts of the spring onions. Mix that for about 30 seconds and you're done. You guys see how good that looks anyways that's all you have to do and what's left to do now actually is just to put it in the bowl and just to enjoy after so I had this remote I don't know why I did that crazy thing because I was supposed to have dinner after you know and most is just so filling anyways I really enjoy this meal I think out of the three meals I made on that day this one was my favorite Yeah. oh my god guys i wanted to talk to you about this now super Mouse hasn't paid me to do an ad for them or anything of that sort but i just think this is really cool so you just have to twist the cover of the super Mold. you don't have to use like a tin opener not a tin opener but like an opener to open it i think that's really cool like um but anyways yeah i just um went to my room and i really enjoyed this meal I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience low. Think it's time you let me know. What's it gonna take for you to love? Take for you to love me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop 
it's all I don't want to react like this is my first time tasting it because I make it like this all the time this slaps and you need to try it with the sardine okay I'm just thinking I have one more to go dinner guys I think I said it in my other what I eat in a day vlog that I don't eat three times a day like I never eat breakfast, lunch, supper because I just can't do it. I don't know why I can't. The most I can do is to breakfast and something else. I can't, I can't even do lunch and dinner. It won't work for me. So breakfast and dinner or just dinner or just lunch. That's how I eat. But anything for you guys. I'm just thinking that I can't eat dinner anytime soon. So we would have late dinner. I'd make the food. I'll probably start making the food at like 7.30 p.m. and eat at like 8.39 because I'm not, I can't eat soon, okay? But it was good. Yeah, that's that. I guess I'll catch you guys at 7.30 p.m. Bye. Hey guys, so it's 7.45 p.m. and I want to go and start making dinner. I'm still not hungry, but I just want to start cooking now. To be honest, if I had a choice, I would skip dinner, but I have to do it or else this video is not going to be complete. Um, so I'm going to make chicken stew with rice. I would make the rice after I make the chicken stew or when the chicken stew is almost done. Um, I'm going to make it very fast and very straightforward, okay? Let me stop talking and then get to work. Let's go. I'm happy the skies are looking like this at 7.45. This just means one thing, that summer is around the corner and I'm really excited about that. Okay, now let's go. So I decided to take all of the dishes out of the dishwasher because they were all dried up and then do the other dishes that were in the sink before I actually started doing my mise en place for the chicken stew. You're telling me I should go places You're telling me that I'm too lazy You are the one that is gone Okay guys, let's make my dinner a rice and chicken stew. Now this stew was so delicious, it tasted so fresh and I can't wait to teach you how to make it. Don't forget to take a screenshot of all the ingredients. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to blend our natural spices. So you're going to add all your roughly chopped onions into the blender cup along with all your ginger and all your garlic. Add a bit of water to help with the blending and blend until smooth. Bear in mind that we're using three onions for this recipe, but one of the onions have been sliced. We're going to fry that in the oil before we make the stew. So in your pots of chicken, make sure that you clean your chicken. I always clean my chicken with bicarbonate of soda and lemon juice or lime juice or vinegar. So once you've cleaned your chicken very well, transfer it into a pot. Add about a quarter of the blended spices, natural spices that we just made. And then add in some complete seasoning, badger complete seasoning or any all purpose seasoning of choice, some salt and shrimp powder. Those are the only three other spices I used apart from the natural spices. And you are going to mix it very well with your spatula and then cover it, let it cook on medium heat for about five minutes before you add in some water. So you're going to add your scotch bonnet peppers to the rest of the natural spices that we blended. We're going to add a little bit more water and then blend until smooth. So that's going to be for the stew. So I came back to check on the chicken and it was time to add some water to let the chicken cook. Okay, so I've added in a bit of water and then I'm going to cook this for about 8 minutes. Now, I didn't let it cook for too long because I was going to put it in the oven. So I didn't deep fry this chicken because I'm not trying to use a lot of oil in this recipe. So that's one hack guys. If you're making chicken stew, you don't have to deep fry the chicken, okay? If you put it in the oven, it's going to come out really nicely. Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out just going to pop this in a preheated oven at 185 degrees celsius for about 20-25 minutes and it should be done by then. So 
so we're going to start making the stew now so in my pan I'm just putting in some oil I used about half a cup of oil and then I'm going to add in my sliced onions once the oil heats up I'm going to fry that for a while so once your onions have fried and have softened up a bit you would want to add in your blended mixture of onions garlic ginger and scotch bonnet peppers so you want this to fry for a while because we used a lot of onions and it's going to give this stew a really nice sweet flavor that i really liked bear in mind i'm not using tomato paste for this recipe because i just want to use all these fresh ingredients okay it tasted so good trust me you guys can tell that um it looks like there's no oil in it and that's because the onions fried for a long time and that's okay um okay you're going to see the oil at the end anyways so you want to add in your um tomato so i use canned chopped tomatoes you can use blended tomatoes like you can get fresh tomatoes and blend them up um so i added my tomatoes and then gave that a good mix and then i just made that sit for a while to cook So this is what we're working with and to this we're going to add in the chicken stock that we got from steaming the chicken a bit before we put the chicken in the oven. That's going to add so much flavor to the stew, it's going to make it taste like chicken stew if you get what I mean. So you're just going to add all of that, give that a good mix and then cover it back up to cook on medium heat okay. Don't cook on high heat, medium to low heat is fine. And then after a while you want to come back and then spice your stew up. But you want to taste your stew after adding the chicken stock and letting it cook for a while to know how much seasoning you would have to add. Do you get what I mean? Because you don't want it to be like too salty or anything like that. So once you've tasted it, you adjust with more shrimp powder or um stock cube and uh bad your complete seasoning or any all-purpose seasoning that you like and salt once that's done you cook for a while and then you can add in some green scotch bonnet peppers or papuchito so once you've added that you want to cover it again cook for a while and then get your chicken from the oven um and then just put your chicken into the stew let that sit in for a while mix it and that's literally all you need to do to get this delicious stew very easy it had such a fresh taste that i liked you guys need to try it to understand what i'm talking about So this was my dinner rice and homemade chicken stew. This stew was so good guys I'm still dreaming and thinking about this stew. I'm thinking on that day that I had this for dinner right I was even so tired that I didn't even really enjoy it that much but I liked it don't get me wrong. I just couldn't really enjoy it because I was tired but definitely definitely you guys need to try this recipe and let me know what you think. I like that the stew doesn't have tomato paste. It tastes so fresh. You should definitely try this. So I'm telling you, actually, too cute. Sorry. What? One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. Immature lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need commenting at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show me? Aww, so sweet! Oh, 
so guys as i'm talking me these cute balloons for hitting wonky and i loved them so much i have the best of friends guys anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i really hope that you share it with someone i'll catch you in my next vlog don't forget to subscribe like and comment below bye baby i fear we gonna disappear do you even